Hello! Greetings. Alright, uh, hopefully that volume for the audio is good. Um, since you were last here, I've been really busy. Uh, actually, let me, let me start from the beginning. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, it's been a really interesting mermaid being already a little bit behind after the uh, the day two tech issues and my inability to just leave day two be simple. And here I am already starting with a, a fairly complicated uh, looking day three. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get into inking this in just a moment here. I'm still kind of uh, figuring out the sea witch herself. I really wanted to have a feel for the environment before I was uh, really going in and uh, getting her position um, in place. I, I know in general she's going to be around here. That way you have this I feel of like this expansive layer. Um, and what I mean with the uh, day two, I went over it. Uh, so after the line work, I went back into it with uh, some ink washes. I'll try to get the whole thing in frame here. Shh, I might. Huh, I actually don't fit all the way in frame with where my, uh, my camera's position. I have almost all of it in frame. I I'm missing like a very little bottom edge strip here, which is just black, so you're not missing anything. But, um,. Yeah, I, I added some, some texture here, so these look like the ends of wood boards. Some of them are split, some of them are are cracked a bit, uh, missing pieces, rounded the edges. Uh, added all these ink washes for some just general form. Uh, so I'm really happy with where it is. I might even go ahead and add color over it, knowing that it's going to look very antique and faded. I kind of love that idea, especially these these darker stripes. I'd, I'd probably paint them in uh, with red. Uh, just favorite color plus circus. It's like naturally, of course, it's going to be red. But, um, yeah, so that that's part of what happened with uh, with the day two prompt. So I'm really happy with her. I have some pictures as I went through the process, as far as you know what, what you were able to see as, as this unfolds. And there's my back cover. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I'm I'm feeling good about that one. I, I like it. If I even if I trip up for the rest of the month, I feel like I have one very solid image that I'm happy about, and for me, that's huge. Um, you know, I, I don't go into drawing challenges with a specific outcome other than, hey, I like this thing. It's good to go ahead and challenge myself. Let's go ahead and try this. Um, I apologize for the frames. Because I started the stream a little bit late, those are going to be hanging around a little bit longer. And then they're going to vanish because I animated them. And I, I'm, I, I guess I'm easily amused because I'm, I'm happy that that seemed to have worked out. I think it could be a little bit smoother. Anytime I try to watch the playback, it feels like it is a little bit, um, a little bit choppy. I, I just, I, I should add a few more frames in just to, to make that a smoother flow. And here I am waving my hands way back over here, off camera, where you can't see them so at least. Hey, personality! I wave my hand sometimes when I make points. Um, <laughs> I have a nice clean cup of water. Um, the an interesting turn. This is um, acrylic that had been dried down in the palette that I was using for the washes. I was using a like a thinner wash here and a stronger wash there. I managed to lift up some of the uh, the pigment particles, and now I'm scratching that one. Um, I managed to lift up some of the pigment particles from when I had done a uh, a gold wash somewhere. So in bits and pieces of, of um, that circus piece for day two, you can actually see a little bit of uh, like a sparkle. It's a very subtle sheen to it. Uh, it shouldn't be too much trouble in scanning it, so I think I'm, I'm good there. And then uh, as far as day three, we have penguin, sea witch, and poison, which I'm going to try to dive into uh, as quickly as I can. Go ahead and hop over onto Twitch and say hi. Ooh, 
Alright, so just uh, overall, welcome to the chat. And we'll see new people as you pop in. I've noticed the uh, the notification tends to come up a little bit late, so we'll, we'll see some people pop up uh, in just a moment. Uh, with this layer, I wanted to have some random, I guess, quote-unquote, dangerous items in the background. So we have, like, part of a shark jaw, we have a harpoon, uh, random netting and an oar, a diving helmet. So uh, probably doesn't bode well for the diver that he's in the sea witch's lair. I really like this idea of, like, a bubble or crystal to be, like, used as, like, a maybe a scrying tool of some sort. I don't have too many ideas as far as what to put in it yet to go ahead and have that have a really interesting effect. I don't know if I'm trying to do more ink washes is what I'm basically saying <laughs> because I, I tend to get a little carried away with the uh, detail. Um, but uh, up close to the front of the frame we have our bottle of poison. I figure I'd just label this guy arsenic. I do classic skull with crossbones here. And I'm just trying to make this font bend with the uh, way that the label is flowing. So like the E's especially, you're going to notice that because there's a straight part. Ah, I just realized. I'm trying to write out arsenic. If you can't really see the the N, it's going to look like it just says arse, which I feel like I'm a 12 year old right now, laughing at that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do as much as I can to uh, put the end of the N there, but I'm sure I have somebody else who's going to have a giggle out of that. Because you know what, as much as we try to be intelligent people sometimes we're just going to have grade school humor pop out you know it could be all kinds of intellectual but every once in a while something like that's going to be funny in my case i have a teenage son i have a six-year-old daughter I do feel like my letter got taller as I went with this label. I'm going to try to adjust that a little smaller. And I'm not going to do very realistic for the skull here, because the main point is just conveying death. looks a lot like Grim. <laughs> That's one of those I can't help myself you know, with the Jolly Rollager. That I would go ahead and include a, uh, a skull. You should probably be over a little further, honestly. I'm going to adjust it. Accuracy. You know, somebody's not going to offset the skull from their label of arsenic. We could just as easily have something like Belladonna, but I think the Sea Witch kind of collects a lot of uh, stuff from the human world. And why not? Because humans have ways of killing each other. Sadly. Three more letters there. Yeah, that should be close enough. I'm not trying to spend more time on detail than I have to. At least I'm not trying to.
Alright. So we have our arsenic. I am going to grab my big fluffy brush, which probably should be used more for washes, but has been incredibly handy for just getting eraser crumbs off, so there we are. I tried to do a search for sea witch or, or witch in today's uh, music choice, but I didn't really see any different tracks come up as soon as I put the filter for like the mood as epic. They didn't have a dark mood. Like, there's no, like, literally, like, dark or moody. Like, well, that would have been better for, for this witch, I think. I do have a vague idea as far as her being an eel. Uh, we have our penguin just imprisoned over here. Um, I, I think I will bring in maybe a little bit of white to go ahead and give him some extra contrast on the tone paper. Um, I really want more items on this desk, and that's, like, all these shelves, they're, they're empty. There's no skulls, there's no, like, chunks of coral and skeletons and stuff. I, I feel like there's a lot of missed opportunity that I don't have, like, specific ideas on things I want to include. I was thinking maybe, like, line the edge of this ring with, like, zodiac symbols, and I may do that at a later date. Um, but I, I just want to get moved on with today's prompt. And I'll be back in just a moment. So, moving on. Uh, apologies for the brief interruption there. Trying to get an idea for their siren. Or not siren, uh, sea witch. I had some vague idea that, uh, She would be eel-based. I thought that would be interesting. Oh uh, no, my small ones decided to go ahead and get loud. Uh, apologies. having trouble seeing on this paper. And just something about the shade of blue and the tone of the graphite. It's not really working out great contrast-wise for me. Um, let me see if my, uh, my battery charger or my camera battery might be helpful for me to go ahead and get this past where it's got a uh, machine because I really don't want to be spending too much time. Let's come down a little further before I'm going up. This arm probably is way too long. I hate foreshortening limbs. Alright, um... Should be all right. Yeah, this may be sexist, but I automatically think of a sea witch as a female character. Try 
I need to get some general placement in. But that's where I've already realized I, I do have a pattern as far as completing these um, this challenge so far is that I I definitely work on the environment first before I'm just plopping a mermaid somewhere. Not specifically like trying to go for having knees. I want to have enough of the base body down first for figuring out where the rest of her body is going. I'm like just trying to play with some forms here. So I feel like that could be the end, but it seems short. I think I want to do um, like a long, thin area, just wide and kind of um, slightly triangular shape. I feel like that's too short. I, I want a really long eel type body She just kind of like slithers or undulates with her movement. I just have a general line here for the waist. Just so you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Yeah, like, I don't mind part of her body going back. Because that would make sense to me that maybe she's, just, like, parked her body here a little bit. But I want it to kind of, like, twist in a, an interesting way. Right now this is kind of ending this way. I don't know if I'm trying to push her further back into the space here or bring her like visually forward to us yet. So considerations. I think now is a good time to go ahead and caffeinate a little bit whilst I'm just moving forward with that. I, th I think I might actually grab a, uh, a general eel image just make sure I'm not insane with what's already in my head. So, I saw some snowflake moray eels, and they're really interesting. So, I kind of have an idea now, like, as far as patterning. So that already fits into what I kind of had in my head for how her body might move or twist. ahead and actually elongate this curve a little bit. Maybe it's not coming quite so forward. And this curve is here more give her kind of a similarity to a human um, human anatomy. It's 
twist turns. I think I'm gonna twist this back this way. Not the prettiest movement. I want to change the shape of that a little bit, make it a little more flowing. Same thing with this. I want to have this out a little bit. You'll you'll see me re-sketching a lot of this because I want to make sure that it feels like these lines are flowing like a body actually would. Let's come down. I'm gonna go with bending back this way a little bit. I'm just kind of grabbing this end. I'm coming up behind her, I think. Great. That. I don't like that shape. Subtle frills to the tail. So this is going to move around a bit more like it's fabric. That line's really subtle. That's going to come in a little bit better uh, when I go ahead and move towards um, um, move towards the line work. Um, there's some heels where this ruffle is like all along their body. I'm kind of kind of tempted to go ahead and do that. I think it would be interesting. Maybe this gets a little squished up close because of where the body is twisted around. And now that gives us an interesting visual come wrap around her body. I think that just start um, coming out over here. And it would also come out on this other side, like right there. I'm trying to find this like side scene, I guess, if this were like a costume. Yeah, maybe that wouldn't be there. Maybe this would be twisted around a bit. This is coming out this way. I need to remove some of these other lines from when I was getting the shape in. So that's really messing me up from continuing this frill properly. Really like this as a general accent for her. I want to make sure it looks like it's twisting around to the point where it gets to the edge. Maybe like right along there. A little higher with it. And that way it looks like the body twists all the way around for that. And again, I'm going to play with translucency, so you're going to see uh, through the fins like uh, I did with uh, with our siren here in the tank. So you have the, that translucency going on. Um, maybe not all the way through, like that there would be like an underlying structure. I am at least thinking about these things. I'm not getting my 
brush like I prefer. Silliness. I don't know what else is going on this table. I, I'm, some of these edges aren't going to be hard inked, uh, at least not during the stream, because I want to leave my... I want to leave room, room open for like some of these pieces where like I'm really loving it coming together. I want to add those details. I want to make this a cool, creepy place that it should be. So, um, I'm definitely working towards that. I feel like it's, this shape is a little bit off, like it's just leaning over to the side. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe it's just over here, like, leaning on a rock. It's just, like, it couldn't stand up straight or something. It got tipped over from something. I just have a rock over here. That's one thing I thought about it while looking at this and trying to work on perspective and make this feel like a big open area, which hopefully, hopefully you're seeing enough line work. I'm trying not to be too heavy with a lot of my lines, but like you can see like where I'm having issues with like perspective, like over here. Something about this is still not lining up right to me. Something about that angle is just weird. I did this bottom shelf, but I used perspective, but if I go ahead and extend that to the top shelves, the angle gets increasingly sharper, and I, I feel like that's not correct. So that's why I've kind of, I haven't put anything on the shelf because I, my brain's still working on that one. Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to work faster on these things. Um, Okay, so logically, if we can see all of this side fin, and it twists around to become the outside edge, this fin, we're not going to see so much of it, I think. Maybe we'll... Oh, that doesn't really twist to the back until here. Um, hmm. I feel like this one we're not going to see very much. We'll see the little... A little bit on this edge. Maybe the current has pushed it forward. But then you don't see it. But you start seeing it there. Oh, maybe by this point. Then. We'll go ahead and knock that down a little bit. So, starting from here, and over. And then we'll go ahead and have it end up there, like these places are just barely making contact with each other. And there we go. Alright, so she's got a tail. I need to block in more of her body, and we're almost at a half hour. Hi! This is going to be another one of those... My brain will just think and think and think on the thing. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. It's been a good process so far. Hopefully it's been an entertaining process so far. That's the main thing I'm concerned with as far as you, the viewer, if you're getting anything out of me doing this, whether it's just enjoying watching the process or learning a little bit about composition, or actually seeing the struggles that artists can deal with when they're trying to fix something. Because, yeah, sometimes I will go ahead and just keep hammering on an idea for a little bit until it finally clicks and it seems like that's going to work. And it looks like even with the uh, witch keyword instead of pirate, that uh, this is still a short list. I'm going to try taking off the epic mood and we'll go with powerful. Uh, 
And hopefully that's good. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of these are listed as pop, rock, electronic. Boy. This is so not what I'm going for. This is like car commercials and beer commercials to me. <laughs> like, it's not terrible. It's just not, not what I'm looking for at all. Boy. Um... All right, well, I will try no search other than just epic. So it, it wasn't even the keyword I was doing anything. It was just once I put a mood in, it gives me one specific playlist. That's that's a little limited there. Um, Some of this sounds good. This, this is gonna get weird. I'm going to skip tracks probably. I'll try not to get distracted and I apologize in advance because music has this really powerful way of of changing mood and emotion and that's why I've been kind of back and forth on these playlists like trying to find things that I feel like that work really well for me. Alright, so we kind of over that, so it's kind of like a nice frilly effect, and I am fussing over details instead of working on the main figure. I really need to make clothing for this one, considering that I didn't last time. It's like, well, right now it's just a body form. There's no, um... No nipples for, uh, YouTube to frown upon. I'll, I'll probably just drape some, I don't know, what, random black fabric, I guess. Maybe she's into, like, really over-the-top headgear, too. Maybe she'll have, like, a... Like a crown kind of thing going on. I don't know if this edge is kind of see through. Maybe she's got her hand on it. Because that seems to be where we're at. Remember, thumb check. Get your thumb towards the head, on the inside of the body. I know it's a silly thing, but I had, back in high school, I did a picture of a, a scene from one of the Vampire Chronicles books, and it was Pandora squeezing the, uh, the heart, like, uh, like a handful of grapes. It had such a great description to it that I decided to I, I was going to draw this thing and I was serious about it <laughs> I put the thumb on the wrong side of the hand and then it was so embarrassing when I realized I was like oh geez like I could have looked at my own hand and figured out the way this should have gone I also did a terrible job foreshortening the nose because of the way I just had her head angled back I oh so, so many bad things about that picture, and I could, I could laugh about it now, but at the time, it was just like, wow, that's that's disappointing. I, I could have done that better, <laughs> and I didn't. Art is, is a journey. Absolutely. Alright, so I'm trying to help convey the angle for the wrist here. I have the thumb kind of curled over that a bit, and coming out here. And then the rest of the hand coming up here and around, and I've made her hand too long. That's what's going on. Like, why? Why? 
Okay, so our hand's a little bit too wide and a little bit too long. Because I, I would have it resting on the sphere. So the hand's just gonna kind of curve around. That's it. So let's see if I can go ahead and kind of imitate it just for my own edification. Okay, so you would probably see a bit of a knuckle, which is there. And that the hand might be slightly more, more angled there. And then you'll have knuckle joint there. And that barely shows because I have so much graphite already laid down in this area. Oh yeah, this playlist is getting weirded. Oh, I say playlist lucid because this particular um, music service does not just give you pre-made playlists. These are just random songs lopped onto the thing. And yeah, that's that's getting weird. This is all going into rock, 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 indie. I don't mind reggae, but I kind of feel like... I don't feel like that's where I'm going with this. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. And... Oh, is there like a scroll down? Oh, there is a scroll down for mood. Nice. There, there's dark. Alright, we're gonna see where this gets us. A lot of electronic is over here. That's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll see where it goes. Oh, holy cow. It's already 2.39. I'm glad I, I got a lot of this background done last night, but... Ouch. I want to, uh... I want to be getting more done. Jeez. Um... I don't know what I want to do with this other arm. Indecisiveness, man. That's part of what this challenge is supposed to help me with, is pushing through indecisiveness and trying to work faster. The, the idea is supposed to be to have this goal of like getting all this work done within a short period of time. Let's start giving her some features. I'm gonna stay pretty close to human, I guess, for the ears. I'm gonna go slightly, slightly pointed, L little like elf ears, maybe. Um, let's try to give her a face. too high. On such a small scale, it is so easy to go overboard.
feel like I'm trying to like soften the edges of the face. Give like curvature for where the cheek is. So like there's some shape for the cheekbones. And I just feel like my pencil is getting caught like really weird in the grain of this paper. It might just be a little bit smoother. This is like so close to the bottom of the face. I don't know if I'll have enough room for a mouth. Apparently I need to work on my, my three quarters faces, so it's, it's good that I'm working on this for you. Yeah, that is kind of funny. I can't believe is how much this paper is giving me problems as far as contrast. I think maybe in later drawings, instead of doing graphite on the tone blue, I'm going to find something else to sketch with. I've seen a lot of people using like a, I think it's a coal erase paint pencil. It's so funny working on people and seeing how large our heads really are. This this is not in proportion at all. Over here for how I've drawn the rest of their face. So you have the eye sockets, back of the head. And I have the ear. Yeah. Oh, apologies for the sniffles. I'm trying to finish up this detail. So should we continue with the uh, tradition? It's normally brunettes and dark haired people who are evil in a lot of media. You know, occasionally blondes are the, the the evil character, but just overall it doesn't, doesn't tend to happen in media. Um, I'm trying to leave a little bit of white space there for the crown of her head, give a little bit of highlight. So I don't know if I'm going at this one with like washes, like I did with the uh, the previous prompt. I still gotta figure out what to do with this hand. All right. So, what nefarious things do you think she might be up to?
I think I'm going to leave this as is and just start in with some of the pencil process. Get that out of the way. We'll see how many of these lines I can see as I'm inking. But the main thing is, we are 15 minutes from the end. And I don't have any ink on here, which I don't like. Today's line work, I'm currently with the Pit Artist pens. Uh, this is black. You know, I was really thinking I was going to break out my other inks for this. And maybe I will, maybe I will get back into it and change some of my ink colors because I was thinking I'd bring out the muted inks. This really wonky looking cage with this penguin in. too much if some of my lines go a little awry. So I definitely definitely am overworking these prompts right now. <laughs> oh, I put that in before I put the uh the chain. Uh, here I am not thinking of my lines. this over a little bit so I am a little more on top of it in the hopes that I can see a little bit more of what's going on because I'm I'm fine when I'm sketching right on top of this I can't see a lot of detail for this little penguin guy these bars are written away. I need a black feet. I'm just kind of doing this little sketchy at the bottom. Okay, a little bit of like a short fur pile. give him some good contrast. I really should have left some white space for the eye. I mean, really a penguin. A lot of images that I've seen, like you cannot necessarily even see where their eyes are. Flippers are a lot more prevalent. I should really touch a white space there. Find that shape. And 
that's about as much detail as you're gonna see, because his belly's covered by that. Oh, penguin! Sea witch. 90% drawn sea witch. <laughs> I gotta figure out that, that other hand that's bothering me right now. Um, oh, so I can adjust her hips. I realized that I have her hips turn this side. Looks like it's turned a little bit more. I need to adjust the shape of that to accommodate, um, like, hip bones. Um, yeah, minor, minor adjustments. So this is a small correction on this bottle. Putting the signs. Glass. And the cork. I don't even know what arsenic looks like in a bottle. The line, the end, just fitting. type jars. That's- I already know that's one reason why I'm not finished with this piece nearly as much as I want to because I want to include all those weird esoteric details. I feel like I'm going to be saying that for a bunch of themes here. Um, at least for day four, I have that one generally mapped out. I think it might move a little bit faster than this one. Both sides. Both sides of the neck of the star. Nice. Oh well. Um, I don't know what's in the jar. I'm leaving it alone for right now. Um, I have the general shape for like a crab trap right here on the table. Because I wanted something big to help like flash that out kind of quickly. But I don't know what all of the detail looks like. I just know the general shape. It looks kind of like a bread box, and you have these long slats. So I want to look up like the actual mechanics of it before I'm drawing in that detail. I'm going to jump around to some behind the workshop kind of space. Like maybe this is the entrance to a cave. Um, I have like, bits of like seaweed and stuff hanging down. Like a weird little curtain. are a little straight. I don't like that. Uh, today is one of the days that I get a little bit more drawing time in later in the day. I was hoping maybe the baby would uh, catch a quick nap. 
yesterday, I might get lucky for an extra 15 minutes of uh, drawing for this session. But that does not seem to be the case, and I don't want to push my luck with his big temperament. So we have that here. Starting to give some more depth into the space. I know it's such a far cry from where I wanted to be within an hour. I don't know how far these would go back. I'm trying to do a little bit of variation. These are stalactites or stalagmites. That's not exactly how I wanted these. I'm getting a little careless with my lines here. I wanted to take a little more time. That way they help convey a round shape. Some of these lines are going very straight. And that is all me trying to rush through my line work right here. And you can see it does not pay to rush your line work. You'll make mistakes and you'll be very unhappy with them. Actually, the, the inking part of the process, I'm not terribly upset of having like an electronic kind of uh, thing going on with the playlist, but for like setting the tone of like the drawing process, I feel like that's, that's probably more, more important to me is like setting the mood. I'm all about adding that type of ambiance. Um, so I don't really have light sources uh, dictated here. What I'm kind of doing is like assuming that this globe thing kind of glows. So that's why I'm putting my shadows across the back here. My light would be coming from, from this thing glowing. And I do want to be careful about how I approach that. Fight is killing me. Okay, so now we are at the official end of the stream today. Um, however, I'm I'm obviously going to to keep going. Um, I mean, not necessarily going with all of it, but at least uh, I'm trying to get in a little bit more detail with this piece I'm certainly not done um, I do have galaxy Loctis monster and winter pretty well thought out in my head as far as composition wise uh, that one's actually going to use masking fluid so that will be really fun once we get to it um, I'm going to you know what I'm going to grab my list and see are there a couple that we can kind of um I don't want to call it like phoning in but I mean, I like, do kind of feel like day one went so quick and smooth. I was honestly just trying to make up detail for the last 20 minutes of that and keep just keep going because 
I've set myself within an hour for this, and for some reason that just popped together really, really conveniently. So today was supposed to be day five, Sun Atlantis Tribal. So I'm kind of working on three ideas at once, trying to bring them to fruition. And that's making this go a little, a little interesting. Um, yeah, so not so much a day three and four, but a day two, mostly sketch while I beat out this uh, sea witch out of my brain, trying to get this finalized. I don't like how long some of these are taking me, but at the same time, I'm also I'm really enjoying this one. And I hope that's not going to be the case for all of them because, like, yes, it's absolutely good to enjoy the art process, but then that's not going into my expectations for this challenge. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna... I don't want to, like, hide my... The process while I'm inking, but at the same time, I also have to be able to like see what I'm doing. And when this secondary light is on on my desk for for doing the video, I can't see the edges of my lines. It's just gone. There's too much glare. Uh, so I went ahead and just lined those in real quick uh, because I I really can't see what I'm doing, and that's not gonna be interesting for you guys to just hear me complaining about that. I don't want to be complaining about everything. I hope I'm not complaining about everything. Jeez, now I'm, now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> Hopefully it's been a fun process for you joining me. Um, I, I do try to make it fun and interesting and try to have some conversation going. I'm trying to give these guys a little, little bit of texture. I think on this larger one, I'm going to go a little bit more with a little look like cross hatching. I'll come back around and add a little more form. are getting, well, my smallest one is getting a little restless. I'm probably going to end it off right about there, knowing that a lot more detail is coming. I have these details here, but like, yeah, this, so much of this glare is, is killing me on this blue paper. Boy, um, I do want to bring in some more contrast with this tone paper. Uh, the thing about tone paper, um, as you can see, like it's already got a flat shade to it, and I can go ahead and add further contrast either by darkening things or by lightening them. So this one, I will definitely use um, some white highlights. I'm still debating if that's going to be in some bleed proof white, maybe applied with a brush or the dip pen, or with a um, perhaps a jelly roll or. I think jelly rolls, the, the current ones I have. I have to make sure that they're they're still working. It's been a little while since I've used them for any highlights. So I gotta make sure that they're they're still writing. But um yeah, this is going to go into tomorrow. I will have pencil work laid out for um our Galaxy Loctus Monster Winter. I'm I'm not sure what I'm going to do as we keep going because of being this far behind on the prompts. I'm sorry. Bump my mic there. Um, you can see, like, the, the prompts go through uh, to 31 days for the first list from Sorry Phantom. Uh, Sorry Phantom. Uh, Artistic Isle goes to 30. And then the uh, Dark Mermaid list from P-A-T-R-I underscore P underscore P. Theirs goes to 25, so I'll have actually less prompts 
as we go along. It just means that these will be a little more freeform to what I'm thinking. That's my theory. But as far as speeding up the process, I need to simplify some of these. Not all of them are going to be detailed, uh, like I've been getting into for the last, you know, for, for day three and day two. Um, yeah, I, I, I basically just have a lot to think about, and I hope that you'll you'll join me as I'm musing on that and getting some some more work done. So. Um, we'll see about adding perhaps colored ink to this one. That, that's what I originally thought. I, was, I thought I was going to go in with uh, at least like the Liquitex like muted gray, which has like a, a very nice violet tone to it. Or even the uh, there's a blue and a turquoise in the muted set. Those probably all look really good. Um, maybe I'll do some swatches for that. I'll probably do some swatches up here, so I have an idea of what the colors look like on this paper. So I'll see if uh, I'll break away from doing the black and go ahead and reline or, or do quick brush washes in a couple of spots to uh, to bring some color into this one, maybe. The main thing for me is this is a drawing challenge, but when I'm really into a piece, I also want to like to take that time to go ahead and develop it because. You know, that's if, if it's interesting to me, I, I absolutely should be going that direction to go ahead and you know have finished pieces that I like. So hopefully that's been an interesting part of the process for you as well. And I do want to thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we hope to see you tomorrow. And as always, keep drawing. <laughs>